I'm Georgia Courage Cole, and welcome to the Sherlock Show. We have a great lineup today, including my favourite segment, Things We Love, with the team, plus a very special guest, Kat Dealey, <laughs> is joining us on the sofa. Then the gorgeous Stephanie Waxberg has taken part in the Sherlock's wardrobe challenge. Uh, you are going to love this, and I can't tell you how chic her granny obviously was. Uh, later, I'll be chatting more to Kat. She'll be sharing tips, recommendations on everything from life, motherhood, beauty, style, you name it, we're going to cover it. We've got 20 questions in 10 minutes, so I hope you can talk fast. Okay. Uh, and finally, Charlotte is showing us what's in her handbag. But first... It's things we love with Polly. Karina, welcome Hello, back. Thank you. And <laughs> Kat Dealey. Hello. I Hello. mean, I said to Rich this morning, it, it's like she's part of my childhood. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it you is were, weird. It also, is weird. Also, you you're not very much older than me, so you were a big deal very young. I, I, well, I suppose so. Yeah, I'm 45 now, and I started on MTV when I was kind of... I think I was probably about 20, wow. which was kind of great because on MTV, it was set up, everything was set up like a studio and, you know, you had a director, but you'd write your own scripts and do all that kind of stuff. But you got to play at doing it and not that many people were watching, which is great. So you got to play at doing it. You can make loads of mistakes. Nobody really yeah. cared or minded and you kind of got on with it. So it was a really good learning ground. Mm. It was great. Amazing. Mm. Amazing. Well, look, we're going to, I'm your... I've got 20 questions, literally, to fire you in 10 minutes later. But first, it's Things We Love. This is my favourite segment. Uh -huh. And I'm going to start with Polly. Yours aren't written on my card. Was this a bit last minute? Sorry, I think I was a last the minute mystery. Linda. I did send Hodge this morning. Last but minute, Linda. We're just going to go for, you know, a bit of a surprise. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so... So Hit first us up. off is a musical called Anne Julia, which I saw last night. Oh, I know you were a musical. I'm not going to say what mine is. Okay, yeah, no, we'll talk about it in a minute. Um, but I saw it with my girlfriends. It was one of their presents for me for my birthday. Oh, and cool. it's a kind of retelling of the story of Romeo and Juliet. But if Juliet didn't end up, you know, killing herself at the end, and actually it's quite a feminist retelling. And all the songs oh, are kind of well-known songs written by one guy. So lots of Britney, lots of Katy Perry, lots of like Backstreet Boys kind of vibe. But like... They use those to tell the story. Awesome. It is amazing. I like laugh from start to finish. I, so, so the end is happy. Yeah, so it's all a happy ending. Good. Okay, amazing. I've always yeah. thought there should be an A or yeah. a B that you could choose. Yeah, yeah. 100%. And it's just so good. I was a bit worried it was going to be a bit cringe at times, but it just really wasn't. It was just funny. Like, such a good one to go and see with your pals, I've heard, I think. I, I've heard uh, it's really good. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you George. what's also really good, which is not the one I went to last night, uh -huh. but it's six. It's about Henry VIII. Oh yeah. I really want to yeah. see that. Epic. It's an hour and a half. There's no interval. Okay. There are six strong modern women, and yeah. it's a like a feminist yeah, version. Yeah, yeah. And Do I any of my... them get beheaded? Yes. Ooh, oh, that didn't cool. end so well. I'm there. So, anyway, it is like all the sass. Oh my god, and fun. It's epic. And my daughters, from my five-year-old to my eleven-year-old, uh -huh. and actually my son, we know every word. Go, go, go to six as well. And yeah. the one I went to last night. Oh my god, yeah, so... Can I jump in? Yeah, I yeah, think you should jump do. in. Yeah. <laughs> I went to Moulin Rouge last night. <gasps> oh. Have you seen it? I haven't seen the no. musical. I just remember going to see a screening of it when, the, when Baz Luhrmann's film came out. Yeah. And I came out of the cinema and I cried because this Amazing. most epic epic film had been made yeah. and I would never be a part even oh, from sweeping oh. the floor it was just like I would thought it happened it, and you hadn't been able yeah. to involved? just in any way shape or form like even providing Nicole with her tea like I would have happily Something. done I would have happily done when that we all, and but it was so beautiful and mm. the, so oh. what was the theatre like oh my god Hodge I mean <laughs> I had a broadcasting she went before me and I copied her anyway oh, I man. went last night with a girlfriend Fuck, I'm sorry to swear. It is so good. And it's it's all medleys and mashups, but new ones. But then there's still, there's a bit where you're like, oh my God, they're going to sing your song. I mean, my friend and I, we laughed, we cried, we yeah. held hands, Aww. we were dancing. And suddenly, one minute you're listening to Elton John, the next minute it's like, Toxic comes on. Yeah. So I was wow. Oh my gosh. Too. Wow. I, I mean, total joy, the spectacle. It's oh. an amazing set, isn't it? I saw it a couple of oh. weeks back. It's so good. Isn't like, it? just go, go, go. I cannot yeah. tell you. Yeah. Well, also, he's about to do the um, Elvis movie as well, Baz Luhrmann. Is he? Elv he's doing Ooh. the Elvis movie, and Austin plays Elvis. Austin, uh, I'm going to forget his surname. Uh, Tom Hanks plays Colonel Parker, oh. and if you go on Anything and you Google, Hanks. they you, you can see the trailer. It 
is okay. um, there's like a guy who shouts out in the audience and goes, "Cut your hair, but get a haircut, Buttercup," and then he starts singing, <laughs> oh. and the, the pelvis goes, oh. and all these women just go crazy, and it is so I can't wait for that. Yeah. Oh, I've already put in same. tickets for the premiere. Uh, amazing. Taking my mom too. Did you love Rocket Man film? Oh yeah, I, I mean, mean I love just, that so much. Yeah, yeah. Amazing, love it so much. Anyway, sorry. Wait, <laughs> all the musicals. You gotta go. You gotta go. But mm. I've heard Anne Juliet's brilliant as well. It okay, is so so good. Number two. Back to, back to the order. Coming back to something probably a little less exciting. Um, a recent purchase for me is these little Prada shorts, which I got on Vestia. Georgie, I don't know if you're going to love these. I feel like we have quite Ooh. like conflicting. I know you're going to hate I them. I love you because you bring these things in. And by the way, we get on because someone wrote, oh, she's saying read to Polly about her things. <laughs> we actually get on very well, thank you. We actually got on very well, but Georgie just like, we have very different tastes, I'd say, in right. things. So I was just like, right, I'm going to bring these. I'm going to test these out, see if Georgie likes them or oh, not. Oh my God, I but, love so <laughs> much that you bought bought those on. I freaking love Are them. Are they for running? Pardon? They're for running. No, they're for wearing every day. <laughs> they're they're not, leisure. They're for running, putting your key in your pocket. I mean, I guess I could wear them for running. I hadn't yeah. even thought about that. But I've been wearing them just like this week when it's been warm. I bought them in like the depths of winter. You bought them for Vestia? Uh -huh. I bought them for Vestia because they're like too expensive. Someone didn't want them. Wow. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> That's very in demand. Um, yeah, I've been wearing them and I just love that they're elasticated. Like I live in a pair of shorts when it's warm. It's just something a bit different. No, I can see it now with the Polly say it. Yeah. I mean, like, if anyone can pull them off, yeah. it's probably. I like to see if it's. Look at that silly little pocket. I just love it. <laughs> It's almost like, like a sporran. I mean, you actually. said it. It's quite sporran esque. If it yeah. was in, like located somewhere slightly differently, yeah, yeah, I'd be yeah. like, quite sporran. I mean, like, Rich was like, so can we name three things that you're going to be able to fit in that pocket? And I was like, maybe some penny sweets, some coins, <laughs> like a lipstick. But that's pretty much it. But anyway, I just think amazing. they're kind of fun. Um, mate, um, I so love yeah. you for bringing this in. Thank you. A bit of variety, isn't it? Absolutely. So um, like, oh, it's all the same fashion now. <laughs> it's really There you go. There you have it. Polly, what's item number three? Um, my like, final thing is actually an outfit that Jeff Goldblum wore. I don't know if you've Ooh, seen it, Karina. No. It was like doing the rounds on Instagram. <laughs> it's no secret that like, he's a bit of an icon for style. Yeah. And I don't know, I just, so he's wearing these like zebra print trousers. He's like Crocs. You like, <laughs> you're into zebra wow. print trousers. Oh my God, I love them at the moment. But I don't know, just something I mean, that he again, is like again, so again, cool. Sure and he, I think the that. caption was like big dad vibes or something. I was just like, yes, Jeff, <laughs> I freaking love it. Love <laughs> so him. he's giving me life, basically. He's a riot. I I, I he's hilarious, isn't he? Where, where are we on the, the, where are you on the zebra print trousers? I wouldn't personally. No. I don't think it's my style, <laughs> but I, know, I, I like I seeing them on people. I do. Yeah. I That's know. very diplomatic like, of you, Karina. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think I would, but in a slightly washed out way, maybe in sandy colours, a la 1970s Saint Laurent safari mm, nice, vibes nice. with the yeah. lace. Yeah, I'm thinking that. we had a chat before we... We're live. Yeah. We're in a bit of a me and M. We are. We're having quite, a me and M moment. Quite a salon vibey. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I do. I do dig that kind of yeah. slightly glam, but Pretty bit here. rocky, yeah. Yeah. Parisy thing. Yes. I see that. I see that. Thank you. Anyway, let zebra trousers. If anyone could do them, you can. Yeah. Type yes, type. you could. Uh, and Jeff Goldblum, <laughs> clearly. Yeah. Uh, Karina, looking Hello. gorgeous in one Thank of these dresses. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. I am. Beautiful. um cottage core aesthetic like, <laughs> it's my favorite yes. um it's really hard to say but it's my favorite so and it's so great today. it's doing yeah love that brand yeah. so love pretty. that brand it looks heavily really on you it really does thank mm. you um karina tell us what is on your list yeah i went for i went for another dress like okay. which is just good but lo we love a dress typical me um, so I picked up this Stein Goya dress. Oh, it's so called the fun. Elizabeth dress. So I bought it for a wedding that I've got coming up. And I just thought, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And it's comfortable. Yeah. Because like, you know when you're comfy. in something all day and there's nothing worse than being in like a really tight dress yeah. mm -hmm. or something uncomfortable. Goya. So you can eat, you can yeah. dance, like, you know. I was seeing Goya to my brother's. Like, yeah. Oh, I think <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Yeah, I was seeing Goya to my brother's wedding. And I have to say, it was... They are clever, and you've. I think you. You're, I've got a couple. You've like, got something, yeah, yeah, but they yeah. don't. You don't have to get anything out. Yeah. I, I remember to my brother's wedding, like my arms were covered. Mm. I just had my, but it still yeah. felt really dressy. I think they're yeah. clever. Yeah, mm. but I think the the fit and the sizing of Stein Goya is just perfection. Yeah. Yeah. And like, that, that fabric is quite like yeah. signature to them, isn't it? It's kind yeah. of like 
quite structural but not yeah. too stiff. So yeah. you feel like you've got a bit of shape going yeah. on. Yeah, quite so Mine was a bit stiffer, but it's also really good. It says here that's two thirty. It's a really good price mm. point. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, an it's awesome quite, brand. Yeah. 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 I love. Yeah. Really love. 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 Okay. I do number two. Um, I don't think I have them, but it was to go with the dress. That They'll I bought. come up. They'll come up. These uh, pink platforms from Russell and Bromley, Ooh. and talking about the seventies vibe. Like yeah. I'm just obsessed with seventies mm -hmm. looks at the moment, and and they are these like, I'd say like millennial pink platforms. I've seen them, uh, I went to the press day. Oh, they are, good. yeah, they gorgeous. Um, and again, I think someone said to me the other day, I want some really amazing shoes. A girlfriend said to me, she said, but I can't spend 800 quid. Yeah. Yeah. Where do I go? And I was like, go to Russell and Bromley. Yeah. They are really back in the game. Yeah. And yeah. I know the ones you mean there. They're kind of a more like, they're a little bit of like the, that Versace Medusa yeah. tape, but like but slightly But the heel's more, not as high. Yeah, yeah. I think the I'm, Versace's quite like extreme, too isn't high. it? Yeah, but they, a bit too high, but they are, yeah. And their the, shoes are very comfy. Yeah. Very, very yeah. Yeah. and well made too. Exactly, you yeah. can have them for years yes. if you want. Them. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Them yeah. I've got yeah, I've got a couple of pairs, and I think they're fab, yeah. fab. Okay, item number three is beauty. Yeah, it is. I actually was yeah. So I'm going to talk about the Lancome Idole. 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 Sorry for butchering it. The mascara. <laughs> yes. Um, it's the waterproof one. Now it's getting hotter. So um, I have very thick curly lashes, Beautiful. and I can't have LVLs because I'm allergic. So I I struggle with mascaras because every one I put on it just clumps them all together. Mm. And this is probably the first one of the first mascaras that I've used, and it just like oh, it's gorgeous. Fans them all out, Amazing. and it's not. It doesn't go anywhere no panda eyes Ooh. well our viewers will be delighted I sweat a lot. because we are asked about mascaras <laughs> oh, really it's the one thing i think right. people always use yeah, yeah. yeah. always yeah, yeah. The eyelash colors and mascara do you, do you eyelash curl i do yeah i don't i, I do you, you should but you know you complaining about curly thick yeah. lashes i'm <laughs> like well damn you girl oh my God. I like that. <laughs> said and I was like I don't understand if you she's like so I have really bad. straight lashes I was like no but that's what I want I mean by the time I'm oh. 70 by the time I'm 70 I will have no lashes like, I, I will they're that like pale and oh yeah mine are really pale, pale. And, like, anyway lovely <laughs> lovely love a good mascara mm. thank you Cat. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. So you're starting to start with beauty. Yes. You're going to start with, uh, uh, I love this brand. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, I've been a fan, and this is no joke, since the packaging was pale pink. Do you remember yes. how many years ago that yes, was? Yes, I like do. Like probably 20 years ago. Yeah. I've been a fan. Uh, but this is my beauty product coming off the back of yours. Um, it's the Lavender Night Balm that they have. Can I oh, smell it? Yes. I, it I is, was literally going to say that come and it smell is it. absolutely <laughs> lovely. You know how sometimes lavender can smell yeah. a bit like old ladies in milk and tea? Those I always of think of it as putting on oh, my I pillow or lavender. something at night. Kind of, yeah. But that is a gorgeous lavender. So yeah. how do you use, do you use it as a, as a moisturiser? Yes, but I slather it on. Like, oh, really? like, I, like as though I'm going to, you know, oh. swim the channel. Like that, that, <laughs> that, that kind of thickly. Slather it on with a little bit of serum as well, the aromescence, because they do a lavender aromescence they, as well. I know so that. I do that first, then I put this on. And I like to take all my makeup off and everything before I put the boys to bed because I do have a tendency of falling asleep. <laughs> they've fallen asleep too, because by the end of the day I'm so exhausted. So I take my makeup off first. So I don't want anything too chemically yeah. on my skin, you know? Yeah. Love they bomb. snuggle yeah. in and they yeah. like yeah. give me kisses and and I have a thumb sucker too, so I don't want him like sucking his thumb with like acid or whatever. So this yeah. is lovely, and it's I love just a balm. Oh, and, so, and, and by so the gentle. morning, it's all kind of sunk into. I mean, you do look very, you do look as though you're about to swim the channel when you're going <laughs> when you're when you're going to sleep. But in the morning, it all kind of sinks in, wow. and kind of plumps up any of those little fine lines you've got and kind of gives you a beautiful sheen too no matter how much water you've drunk well so. you're looking fabulous I, well, I need that in yes. my life I also love that like like that lavender is really soothing isn't yes. it yeah. it's really nice well and for me I have terrible problems sleeping so Yes. For me, anything that feels kind of calming and yeah, triggers yeah, yeah. that yes, triggers that too. kind of Literally chilling like pillow out. mist. Exactly. All Can of I it. say yeah. they do a clay mask? Can you try the Declan clay mask? I've tried the eucalyptus one. Okay, you need to try the clay mask. 
So good. Okay. There's a deck your clay mask. Okay. I love the eucalyptus because it's zingy. Yeah, I haven't tried that one. Anyway, love the clay mask. Love a Monday <laughs> clay mask. Oh. Anyway. Um, okay. Item number, item number two, it just says champagne. <laughs> exactly. Which is why I need my balm. <laughs> I love a glass of champagne. To me, a, champagne, a glass me of champagne can make an average Monday a full-on Saturday night. <laughs> I love it. There is happiness in every bubble. I, I don't, I don't oh actually gosh, care I what brand. It's such a pick-you-up, isn't it? it? The, oh, the, even yeah. the sound. The sound of a champagne cork popping. Oh, there's something about it. It's like, it just means the party started. Yeah, I'm like, do you drink it on a Monday night? <laughs> I will drink it any time, <laughs> place, <laughs> Me what, too. Day. My husband's was like, the rate you go through. Anyway, I know. <laughs> like, a hundred percent. That is my my absolute pick me up, and that's also why I need this yeah. because I'm slightly dehydrated, so I rehydrate. Yes. What is it? There's that facialist who says like there's a wine face. She does like <laughs> yeah, wine really face, sunny it. face. I can't remember her name. Anyway, she's amazing. probably got it. Uh, anyway, I love that you've just written champagne. That's excellent. Uh, and item number three says bracelet. Yes. So I'm having a bracelet made at the moment. Now stick Ooh, with me here. It's okay. slightly macabre, and it's a bit weird. You're gonna you're gonna. Die. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm having a bracelet made. So at the moment, my children, my eldest child, Milo, has just started losing his teeth. He's lost one so far. Have you got a Milo? I've got a Milo. Um, the I tooth fairy that ends in an O. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> the tooth fairy came, and obviously, because of there being a pandemic, she had very little small change and had to give notes. I don't know if anybody else has. Had well, a friend that. did that, and I was like, "That's unhelpful." That oh, your child's unhelpful. going around saying they got a fiver from the tooth fairy. Completely oh. unhelpful. But what can you do? <laughs> we didn't know, and we haven't been using notes. So anyway, uh, I'm like, "What am I going to do with this tooth?" So I've had this. I went to um, there's a place called the Saraband Foundation, and I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's no. um, mm. a place that was when Alexander McQueen died. He set up a foundation to help all different artists from all different walks of life, whether they're fashion designers or digital, or jewelry or what hat make, whatever it is. And so he's got this amazing foundation where you can rent space there. And there's a guy there called Connor, um, Connor Joseph. And he does amazing jewelry that is based off people's fingerprints. So you take oh, the yeah. skin and, and you can have them made into all different things. So I'm having a bangle made with oh their with God. their skin on it, and I'm going to get him to dip the baby teeth in gold, and then attach them one by one by oh one God, to my bracelet. Well. It I sounds actually, bonkers, but I, but I, I bet that will look really fabulous. cool. Oh it will God. be because um, they'll like dangle and yeah, be a bit yeah. and, okay. and it will look nuts. Well, can you but just the, send us a photo? When you yeah, get but it? I need Please to see it. Yes. Yeah, I have never yes. heard oh, of that before. But I do, I do have to write to the tooth fairy asking yes. for the tooth back, which I haven't done yet. Oh. So, Tooth Fairy, if you're listening, um, <laughs> please, can I borrow Milo's tooth back, please? I hope she's feeling She's generous. ground. Don't they grind it into fairy dust? Don't, no, no, no. She wouldn't do that not yet. Not this one. Not, not yet. yet. Yes. Not yet. There's a big queue. There's, there's a backlog. A, yeah, there's backlog. a ba <laughs> pandemic, Brexit, backlog. Right. <laughs> Got you out of that one. Okay. We're running out of time. Oh, I'm going over here. Ooh. My oh, big wow. Uh, it's Mother's Day Ooh. on... Gorgeous. The Sunday. weekend. Yeah. Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Anyway. And... I have to say, I have to, I have to hashtag, we are working with this brand. Yeah. And Beautiful. I freaking love it. Yeah. Like, it's that called Flowered, F-L-O-W-R-D, I think, the link will be below. But they do, it's, it's like a, it's a category disruptor in the flower market, flowers to your door, and it also- In the vase? No. I okay. think they do do vases, okay. but mm, I think, you I think these those. were put in a vase. Okay. The ones I've had delivered, home, didn't have vases. Anyway, I just love not too many varieties. I don't love frilly things. I love the neatness. I love the combination of roses. I love a hydrangea. Yeah. Mm. And the prices are good. The flowers are beautiful. It's quite new. And I just, yeah, I'm a huge fan of this. Color, so anyway, yeah. check it out. If you haven't ordered flowers, I don't know if it's too late. But anyway, you need to brighten up your home. It's not too late. I'm being told it's not too late. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> get on over That's to like flowers. I not. Because <laughs> those are beautiful. They are gorgeous. And you don't have to do gorgeous. any arranging. There's no yeah. faffing about it. Oh, my gosh. Literally just pop them in That's the it. I, Amazing. I don't, yeah. mm -hmm. They don't look like that when I arrange no, them. No. Anyway, <laughs> gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, my second thing was Moulin Rouge. Done. Yes. And my last, which we talked about a lot, but I have just watched it. Cool. And I think it got a bit of a mixed review from Sherlock's. 
But it was the House of Gucci. Has anyone seen it? I oh, saw, yeah, I've seen, seen it. it. I haven't seen it yet. I was disappointed. Were you? Yeah. Why? I loved it. Did you? I just thought, I, you see the movie in the trailer, which oh. is like, I, yeah. That it's not, very built up, but I, yeah. I, I just, just think Lady Gaga is a phenomenal actress. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful yes. to watch. She was amazing. Like, Starts from the 70s, moves into the 80s, yeah. New York. I love anything that's the story of a fashion yeah. house. And I think it deserves more credit. And I'm bored of Netflix series that <laughs> drag things out over 10 episodes. Mm -hmm. And I like that it's got a bit of pace, but it's gentle. Yeah. Anyway, I, I, I have to say, I thought Al Pacino is amazing. Um, yeah. I, I absolutely okay, have saved it. It's, it's, I think it's fab. Anyway, uh, that's it. Thank oh you so goodness. much, ladies. We've talked far too long. I'm going to get in trouble with it. Every minute. <laughs> Next, Stephanie Waxberg is showing us exactly what she would save from a fire. Her wardrobe is incredible. Hi, I'm Stephanie Waxberg and I'm a brand consultant and content creator and I'm here with Sheer Lux today to do my wardrobe challenge. So my first question is, one piece that you'll keep forever. So I definitely know what this is. It's a dress from Christopher Kane's first ever collection in 2007 and it's just absolutely stunning. I will never get rid of this piece. Um, I managed to get my hands on it because I went to university and studied fashion design with a girl who worked with Christopher Kane and she very kindly invited me to a sample sale where I picked this up for about £200. Um, I have worn it a few times and it's as tiny as it looks but I just think it's so fab and I will never get rid of it, it's amazing. So question number two, one outfit you wear when you have no idea what to wear? An oversized jacket, um, like this beautiful velvet one from LK Bennett. It's a real kind of like tuck style with a little vest. Um, I get all of mine from Arquette or Collusion on ASOS. And then a pair of skinny high-waisted leather trousers. These ones are from Karen Millen, um, as are these ones as well, and they do the best leather. That's my top tip. And then, uh, or a latex pair, these ones are from ASOS. And I just think it's a really kind of like easy monochrome outfit. Um, great with heels or even just with trainers. So definitely one to wear if you don't know what to wear. So question number four, the oldest piece in my wardrobe. This dress was my grandma's um, and she had it made just after the Second World War and they still had fabric rationing at the time, so it was really difficult to get hold of fabrics and trims. Um, so it's about 75 years old, but I think it's amazing because it still looks pretty modern with the asymmetric neckline and just all the kind of details on it. And she gave this to me just before she passed away last year and I wore it to her funeral. Um, so it's a really special piece to me. And my grandma always loved checking my Instagram every day, so I think she'd be absolutely thrilled that her dress was on Sherlux. Okay, so we've had the tearjerker, and we're on to question number five, which is the most glamorous thing you own. I think it has to be this little jacket from Christian Dior. Um, this is the first piece that I bought from Dior, and I just think it's so beautiful. Um, it's so beautifully made, the kind of the seaming details on it, these kind of pocket flap details and it just always looks super chic, even if it's just with jeans um, and a pair of heels. And yeah, that's another one that I'm gonna keep forever. Okay, so question number six is the piece that I've worn more than any other. I'm a real creature of habit when it comes to jewelry. So I wear the same jewelry pretty much every day. Um, I got a Cartier yellow gold tank Francaise last year. Um, and this was kind of um, a special gift to myself as a celebration for some work that I was really proud of. So I'm very happy with that purchase. And then for kind of my necklace, I wear um, a necklace by my friend Anissa almost every day. Um, she has some fab pieces. So this watch band necklace or this kind of more chunky chain, you'll see this all over my Instagram. So I just think they add kind of a bit of an 80s vibe to any outfit and they're just really beautiful. Question seven is the handbag you'd save from a fire. I actually have to admit, I don't wear these 
Chanel bags very often because they are in serious need of some TLC. So I think I need to get onto the restory pretty quickly. This one's a really sweet little size and they're just beautiful. Um, the bags that I probably do wear the most are the Mayfair bag from Aspinall. Um, and I've got a few of these. <laughs> I have them just in all the neutral colors and they just go with everything. They're a perfect size and they're just super chic. So you'll see these a lot on my Instagram as well. Question number eight is the three best high street pieces you own. So I love the high street. Um, I have some amazing staples. This vest, as I mentioned before, uh, is from Arquette. They're just a really good layering piece. They're the perfect fit and they're about 15 pounds and I have a whole stash of these. So they're really kind of a top tip. And then this shirt, you'll definitely have seen this on my Instagram. I borrowed this from my husband and never gave it back. And it's actually just one of his work shirts from TM Lewin. But it's just perfect on the beach over a bikini um, or kind of tucked into jeans or with a little skirt. And I go for the um, double cuff in a non-iron fabric so you can pull it straight out of your suitcase and you're ready to go. And I get the, um, the twill fabric so it's a little bit more interesting. It doesn't look just like a work shirt. And then I just got this little dress that I just think is so sweet. It's a little chiffon dress from ASOS and it's giving me real Galliano Dior vibes. Um, it's so pretty. I think it's going to be perfect for spring. I've got a trip coming up that I'm planning on wearing it on and just with some sandals or maybe with some boots. Um, I just think it's really sweet. And then the final question, question number nine, one piece you always get compliments on. This has to be one of my favourite dresses ever. It's from Alessandra Rich and I just love the kind of like 80s nautical vibe about it. I've worn it to Royal Ascot um, and to quite a few different events and I just always get compliments on it. I just, I always feel great in it and I just think it's so beautiful. So that's it. I hope you liked my wardrobe. All the shoppable products will be linked in the show notes and thanks for watching. See you next time. You've got to size up, you see? That's another price, which is dangerous. Oh, that's nice. Oh, the shoulders. Really, really like it, right? You should get it. Get it. Season is it? Kind of now. Nice little grey, then. Better black, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. So that's middle aged. I'm about three. Oh, look. Now that's nice. Oh, my God, I freaking love that. <laughs> you got that shopping feeling. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Wow, that dress of your granny's incredible. Uh, I'm now joined again by Kat, presenter, author, businesswoman, Ish. mother. Ish. Woman of many talents. So trying, trying, just to try and keep busy to stay out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are looking gorgeous and busy obviously suits you. Um, it yeah. does. It does. I tend to, yes, I, it's always one of those things where you say to a busy person, get, if you want something done, ask, ask a, a busy, busy person, person to yeah. do it. Get stuff done, and let's same. go, and boom, same. boom, boom. I don't know what I do if I, I mean, I don't know what I do. Yeah. Yeah, no. Anyway, we've got 20 questions. Uh -huh. About 10 minutes, I keep being told. Okay, fine. So, we've got to go, go, go. We've got okay, a bit we'll of go, go, go. everything in here. We've like, okay. there's so many things to ask, Kat. Um, so, there's some fashion, there's some beauty, there's some life, there's some... Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. So, we're going to start with fashion. Uh -huh. When it comes to fashion, what do you live in? Oh, jeans. Jeans are my absolute go-to. I can dress them up, dress them down, doesn't matter where I'm going. You can even wipe stuff off them if you need to. All good. Okay. Uh, what have you got the best cost per wear out of in your wardrobe? It's normally something like a real statement jacket or something like mm. that, something unusual. I remember one time I went to, I quite like getting things that are a little bit off kilter. So for instance, I bought a men's Dior a uh, jacket that was uh, kind of like a, a band jacket and actually weirdly Kanye West wore it one year <laughs> but at like at like some Brit Awards and it was like it, from then on it's been known as the Kanye jacket 
Um, but I've had it for years and years. Like, and I, just I keep... saw it first time uh, very exactly. much. Exactly. Before all your gold naked ladies yeah, came yeah, onto yeah. the stage, I had it first. So something like that or some Dries Van Eyck. It's normally a statement jacket yeah. or piece that you can kind of put away for a bit and then pull back out I again. I agree. agree. Investing in blazers is so worthwhile. Uh, what's your fail-safe going out outfit? I mean, this would work. This looks great. I, I, I tend to wear outfits that you can go very easily from day to night in. So something very basic on the bottom, throw on an amazing jacket, maybe some amazing jewellery, yeah. even a red lip. Yeah, yeah. A fab scarf, you're good to go. Because I travel quite a lot. Well, I did used to travel quite a lot, and I will, hopefully. But uh, it helps to be able to do that, and it's great for packing. Yeah, it is. Can we just... Boots, can yeah. you wave them up? Yeah, Amazing. Coach, love them. Yeah. Okay, uh, what have you got your eye on for spring, summer 22? Ooh, I d you know what? There's a go-to designer that I always, always buy from called Anina Bing. Ah, we love her. Um, and she... I feel does the most amazing elevated basics. They're, they're great, yeah. you, can, you can run around in them, I can have kids in them, I can go to dinner in them and they're amazing, but they've got such, she's got such a beautiful eye yeah. and, and such a, cool a lovely edge. aesthetic. Yeah. And it just, it's like a great mom uniform. Yeah. It's awesome, we love it, we yeah. love Nina. She's, yeah. And it all works together yeah. somehow as well, it's it great. Does. You I don't mean, have to you think. Could, you could just dress Nina. As does she. she. Other than Irma's bags, she literally only wears totally. her own Or Chanel. She, or her, Chanel. Her, her, Chanel. Her, her bag collection is her thing. It's amazing. Uh, one style do and then one style don't. Uh, one style do would be always be comfortable. If you do not feel comfortable, if you are a bit like, oh, mm. I'm not sure about this, take it off, put something else on. Yeah. Because you will feel bad all, all day you will have that feeling of oh yeah, it doesn't quite fit or it's not quite right or and whatever. that will distract you from everything else uh, style don't uh that was my style don't okay style do would be find your own style i think it's lovely when people emulate other people's style but when you find your own you can so see it in a in yeah. a woman or a chat yeah. where you're just like oh you are so comfortable in yeah. your own skin right now and the outside is reflected on the inside and the inside reflects the out. I just love that feeling. I so agree. Uh, beauty. Okay, on to beauty. Yeah. You brought some of it with you, which is I fab. Did. Yeah. Okay, yeah. The, I'm really, I love this one. The makeup product, you die if they discontinued. I have so many of these. Oh, there's, the there's hundreds. the worst thing ever, isn't it? There's hundreds. Yours is? Jones Road. Which is new. It is new. It's Bobbi Brown. I've literally, it, it's like my new favorite yeah. thing at so the moment. Bobbi Brown is owned by S.A. Lauder Group. Yes. This is Bobbi the Woman's latest launch which you know is going to be good yeah. right because her products were amazing anyway and then she's kind of reinvented and they are incredible she knows what she's doing totally this is like a bronzer that you can use and you can either use it on no makeup at all so just after you moisturize in the morning which in the morning i have zero time to do anything but if i put a bit of this on yeah, i yeah, kind of agrees. look healthy an eyebrow and a bit of bronze totally <laughs> totally or you can wear it over makeup too. Okay. But it's sheeny. It's this is the bronze. Can you hold it up? Yeah, of course. Okay. So it looks quite dark for your skin, but that's it's your not color. though. It goes on quite sheer. Is it actually called just the bronze? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Becky's a big fan. Our beauty editor as well. Okay. Favorite skincare brand? Mm. Well, I think you're going to say Declan. <laughs> I am. Yeah. But it's been. I mean, no, I mean, I love it. I love it. Years. Yeah. In the making. This is currently my favorite product. Um, the green mandarin. Ooh, essence. Can I smell? So, please do. It's incredible. It's particularly good on flights. You can put it on afterwards. Oh. But in the morning oh. as well, it's incredible. What I like to do is I put some of that on in the morning before mm. I go to yoga or do something like that. I and love it. It kind of just gives you a healthy sheen without wearing any makeup at all. Because I don't like to work out and wear makeup. It feels Ooh, gross. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Gross, gross, gross. That is lovely. That's, I'm such a sucker for anything that smells like a spa. Mm. Um, what's the best beauty treatment that you've ever had? Best beauty treatment I've ever had was in LA, and it's called the Beauty Sandwich. Have you heard of it? No. It's a guy named Ivan Paul, and he. Remember, we've got 10 minutes. Very, ve he's very, very, very handsome, well. but essentially, what we do is we just go around to each other's house, drink wine, and have a cheese plate. And he's done everybody from Zoe Sorry. Kravitz to. Yeah. You, you, you go drink wine and have a cheese plate? Yeah, and a, and a, and a beauty sandwich. Oh, that. There is some, something that goes oh, on. Oh, yeah. It's like oh, radio free I was like, is that a gag? No. Okay. No, I drink wine, eat a cheese plate. He uses this radio frequency thing. Look it up. It's the beauty sandwich. Okay. That's worth flying to LA for. I yes, yes, I'm yes, going to yes. LA in, in the summer. I need to book in. Okay, your secret weapon in your skincare routine. Oh, 
got to be La Roche Posay. It's you know what? It, Video care. It's the best. It's, it's awesome. and it, you can put makeup over the top of it. It doesn't go too chalky. It's great for here. It's amazing for in LA because in LA it's even you know. The that's razor. SPF fifty. I've got that. Brilliant, brilliant, 15. brilliant. And on my chest too. I always go a bit red on my chest, so that's I great. I know my lines on my chest. I can't mind. Uh, I haven't had a needle in my chest yet, but I'm thinking about it. Uh, secret to your amazing hair. Uh, there is no secret. I take a I take a hair supplement called Viviscal. Okay. So I do that, but there is no secret. My hair very much changed as well after having my babies. It kind of went a bit of a different texture and yes, stuff like that. Yes, people say that, yeah. Very odd, very yeah. odd. Okay. Uh, what is your exercise routine? You've just said yoga. Yoga. I love yoga. yoga girl. Big yoga How girl. How many times a week? Oh, well, I'm, listen, when I was in LA, I used to do it three times a week and hike every day as well. I've got to get, yeah, I've got to That's get That's another reason to go to LA, isn't it? Well, because the sun is always shining. So you could kind of, I'd have a yoga teacher, this amazing woman called Claire, Claire Grieve. She's incredible. And uh, she'd just ring the bell and we'd be like, right, let's roll out the mats outside and let's do some yoga in the sunshine. Mm. Oh, it's not it's not dreamy, difficult dreamy <laughs> dreamy dreamy what is your guilty pleasure oh my guilty pleasure uh, probably a glass of wine glass of champagne lovely cocktail margarita in the sunshine with some chips and guacamole perfect arriba <laughs> <laughs> okay favorite fragrance well i've just discovered this I second know. have um, that you've have little... i haven't smelled it so i was like i want to smell it on camera to, to see what i well, awkward if I don't like it I'm sure I will I've liked everything else you said um it's called 11 11 so, and basically uh it's an oil yeah it's an oil it's a fragrance oil and it's a unisex fragrance oil it's for everybody but it's calming it's energizing it's grounding it's my makeup artist friend Amanda Grossman used to mix it on her kitchen table at home um and she'd she'd use it as part of the makeup routine essentially and everybody loved her and would always keep saying when are we going to get it? When are we going to get it? And then lockdown happened. We were like, shall we do it? Shall we do it? So we are, we're running a bit. There is no backers. Wow. Like we went, yeah. We That's found bigger. a chemist and we, we created the packaging ourselves and there's no nasties in there. And right, it's I'm all, going in. I'm go, going in. I'm it. excited. I do know. I know press I'm going to love it. Press it though. Press it together. That's it. Never and you can kind of, No. And you can. <gasps> yummy, right? Freaking love that. It's so <laughs> yummy. <laughs> I know it's oh, I really, love that. it's really amazing. It's like this kind of oh, calm beautiful. within the storm, and it kind of gives you this clarity and grounding, and yeah, it's gorge. And we've got some Heaven. amazing fans of it. Um, where can you buy this? Uh, online. Just okay. go to eleven.com. And more to come. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. We're going to see how this goes because it is literally just us. So we. I had no idea when yeah. you were coming in. I had no idea. Cross my heart. I hope to die. And that Thank is you. gorgeous. I'd love one of those, please. <laughs> yes. um, okay. Uh, culture. Yes. What is your favourite London restaurant? Oh, Scots. Oh, that's a good answer. I love Scots. It's, it's, oh, it's always one of my faves. And, and seafood. If you're a busy mum, you can't cook what's seafood. Your, you can't. Your, no, oh, no. I'm There's no fine, way. Really. I mean, because you can't catch, you, you miss <laughs> stuff all the time. Do you know what I mean? It burns in an instant. I'm just off to catch her. Sea bass, <laughs> darling. Uh, what's your favourite dish at Scott's? Oh, I like the Dover sole. Okay. And I also love oysters. Do you? Mm. Well, I can't do it. I tried to chew one <laughs> once. I tried to cut one in half. Oh, well, be... that's a terrible I can only mistake. do a half. That's anyway. terrible. Uh, best book you've read lately? Uh, I'm reading the Stanley Tucci one at the moment. Are you? Very much enjoying it. Going to try his courgette spaghetti. Oh, we are mm. such He's fans. so handsome and gorgeous. He's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, best series you've watched or streamed on Netflix? I am Disney about to dive into Bridgerton 2. Oh, I like it. It's very, it's it's fluffy. It's entertaining. It's a little bit like Dallas and Dynasty, but set back in the day. Oh. I think it's brilliant. Okay, can you tell me? You show his insider. <laughs> She's in it, but he's not. I know. Oh my god! I, I don't can't know. Bear it. That I he's don't not know. How, no. B, is that sad? I know. Who's she going to burn for now? Is, are we going to have a big <laughs> scenario all over again? If I have to see someone's true love die again, don't. I can't do it. Don't say that. Anyway. Uh, can't wait. It starts next week. I think so. I know it's sometime really soon because they've had the premiere. I, I think, think it's next week. Um, okay. Some life questions. Oh, nearly Gordon there, nearly there. Uh, 45, how do yeah. you feel? Pretty amazing, actually. We were having this conversation before and I just feel like you get to a point in your life where you get to go and do lovely things every day with people that you really enjoy being around. Mm. Like I don't, I don't, I get to go to work with my mates and mm. have a lovely time and mm. it's 
pretty amazing. That's good. Yeah. Uh, a secret to have you married you. The best <laughs> pal. I did, but we go. But he, like, um, at the moment he's on tour, and then I'm going to, pro I think, go to the states. So there's like there's times away too, and I think that always makes it work yeah. a little bit better if you're kind of out of each other's pockets for a yeah. little bit, and then you're back in. So that's your secret. To have I think so. Go away to come back. Yeah, yeah. Have your own time. Don't yeah. you think? I think that's. Uh, I think we all kind of I, learned that by lockdown. I think a bit of independence yeah. is a. It's a good thing. Uh, what's your approach to parenting? Oh my goodness, jokes, no judging. Literally, there is no judgment to how anybody else is parent. Everybody's just trying to make it through. And You're I think, freaking right. I think as women, we have quite possibly one of the hardest jobs because I don't know how it is for you, but when I'm at work, I feel guilty about not being with them, and when I'm with them, I feel guilty for the emails I'm not doing. So it's it's a the whole thing is a juggle. So jokes, no judging. We're all making it up. Just all making it up. It up. Amen to that. Okay, what haven't you achieved yet? What's what's yeah? What, what's the big thing you want to do? I don't know. I'd really like to travel a little bit more and take my boys on safari in Africa. Oh, I know that is really. Yeah, as much as I, I hate snakes, magical. I'd like to. Do and I same. really, really want to take them um, diving with whale sharks. Ooh. They're those huge in ones. a cage. No, no, no. Whale sharks aren't meat eaters. Okay. They're, they just, no, no, they have great big mouths that they just filter feed. Why are you than me? Um, I've got boys. Uh, you've got boys. <laughs> uh, tell us yeah. one thing we don't know about you. I thought there's many. I don't know you. I've only met you today. Uh, but... Oh, goodness. Uh, I'm, I'm going to learn to play tennis. Oh, I'm playing tennis today. Are you? Yeah. Do you really enjoy it? Yes. I think I'm going to love it and I can I play too. it with my boys and I'm up for it. Yeah. So I'm going to learn to play tennis. Yeah, I, 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 it's the best game. And it's and you can take a racket anywhere. You can take and, a racket anywhere and you can play. My granny played till she was in her 80s. Like, you know, it's a great game. Excellent. It's okay. a great game. And finally, yeah. what what's coming up? What's well other than whale sharks and... Whale well, sharks, yeah, are in my not too career distant wise, horizon. What's, what's career wise, I think we're going to go back to the States for a little bit. The dance show is looking like it's going to happen. So, uh, yes, we're going to go and do a little bit of that. 17 seasons and a global pandemic, and it hasn't been killed off yet. Amazing. And a load of Emmys. <laughs> I mean, what a joy to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Did we do much. that quick enough? No. Oh. It doesn't matter. Um. It doesn't matter. It's Kat Dealey. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Dal. Next is the latest in our, what's in our handbags? And it's Charlotte today, so I think you'll enjoy this. Hi, I'm Charlotte Collins, and this is What's In My Bag. This bag, I keep trying to sell it because I don't use it much in winter and then spring comes back round and I realize it's actually quite useful. It's a really good size. I'm gonna take out the thing that's making the noise, which is this. This is my uh, Liberty Chilies bottle. It's actually not quite big enough for me. I find I have to refill it quite a lot in the day, but it looks good. Um, and what better in scented to drink water than a pretty bottle? So this comes everywhere with me. You'll be surprised to know, maybe not, that I don't carry a wallet. I haven't carried a wallet since before the pandemic. Frankly, I've lost most of my debit cards. I just use Apple Pay. So there's absolutely no form of payment in here whatsoever. There is, however, a little makeup pouch. This is my trusty everyday bits. I'll do a quick what's in here, because this comes everywhere with me. Um, I've got a little pop-up hairbrush, that's essential. Um, I always carry my foundation with me because I do my makeup early in the morning, so often it's gone by four o'clock. Um, a good lip balm, this is the Dr. Barbara Sturm one. Eye drops, I don't go anywhere without these. I wear lenses all day long, so especially if I'm going out in the evening, my lenses really dry out. Um, and I also always have spare lenses too. Um, plus some, some lippy bits. I've talked before about how much I love Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. That's my little makeup kit. I always have a stupid amount of sunglasses on me. There are three pairs in here. These are by Blue Bloom. And this is the pair I'm wearing the most at the moment. I feel like they go with the most outfits. But I also have these by Taylor Morris, which I always love. And these. I don't know who these are by, but these are for when I'm feeling extra. 
snazzy. I do genuinely always have loads in my bag and I always love opening a bag that I haven't used for a while and finding a surprise pair of sunnies I forgot about. Um, I always have matches. I get matches whatever restaurant I go to because they're always really useful at home. So, Chaconi's matches. This is so cute. I didn't know this was in here. <laughs> okay, this is my best friend and I, when we were 17, went to Seattle to stay with her auntie. And we went, it must have been a fun fair. Yes, fun forest at Seattle Center. And we each kept a ticket and we both still have a ticket. I should probably take better care of this. It is 15 years old this summer. And it is our way of staying close to one another, um, even when we're far apart. What else do I have? Um, a pen. Um, I actually often have spare earrings in my bag. If I ever have an impromptu dinner or drinks after work, um, especially I like to be prepared with something just to glam up an outfit. So these are by Soru. I mean, how much more glam is that? Um, so I do often have a pair of hoops or something like that knocking about in my bag. I've lost the top to this, um, but this is Tom Ford, fucking fabulous. And this lives in my handbag because my husband cannot stand the smell of it, um, but I just love it. So it's my secret once I'm at work indulgence. AirPods, obviously. Pack of post-it notes, because I often forget my notebook, so that's helpful. I'm a real coffee drinker, but I'm trying to curb my mid-afternoon sugar cravings um, with, with tea, which sounds really boring, but I do find that fennel tea is sweet enough that actually it kind of hits the spot. So I'm carrying mm, fennel tea around with me at the moment as well. <laughs> Weird but true. And finally, uh, Sarah Chapman's uh, liquid facial de-stress because life is stressful. And that just makes it so much better. Thanks for watching. That's what's in my handbag. So that's it for today. Thank you so much to Kat, to Stephanie, to Charlotte, Polly, Karina. Um, on the next show, we've got fashion with Erna Leon. We've got Summer Pine. And we are chatting to an expert about manifestation. Uh, not my thing. Anyway, uh, Aliola is also here. In the meantime, though, we would love it if you would leave us a comment below, give us a thumbs up, and have a wonderful day wherever you are. Bye-bye.